We're talking to Coach Joe Gillum from uh, Tennessee State University. And, of course, Coach, uh, you were giving us so much uh, extraordinary information before we ended that uh, first segment. Let's uh, allow you to simply pick up where you left off. Well, when Dr. Davis uh, brought us here uh, and he explained this to us, his vision for Tennessee State was for Tennessee, um, Tennessee A&I at the time, yeah. was for Tennessee A&I to enter the Missouri Valley mm -hmm. Conference. Now the name of that I, today has changed, but uh, he thought that was the, that was the conference mm -hmm. that best suited uh, Tennessee A&I, and he was right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as the years have ensued, the more uh, of, of this time passes, mm -hmm. the more that Dr. Davis's vision was 50 mm -hmm. years ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tennessee State should have been in mm -hmm. that conference. Mm -hmm. it, it, it certainly should not be in the OVC, mm -hmm. and of course that's another story. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we had fine success mm -hmm. uh, in those years there, uh, uh, primarily we divided to Shannon Little being our top recruiter, mm -hmm. and he was excellent there. Mm -hmm. He liked the road. Mm -hmm. uh, he knew people all over the South, mm -hmm. and uh, he had a good eye for players. We would discuss, uh, uh, in many instances, uh, when Shannon was here, exactly the kind of mm -hmm. football players we were looking for. Mm -hmm. We always wanted tall linemen, mm -hmm. and so it, Shannon was a little uh, in disagreement there because he thought that centers and guards mm -hmm. on the offensive line should be shorter and then the tackles and tight ends should be taller mm -hmm. and my contention was that if we have tall mm -hmm. players we could fit them into any position mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was our job to get the talent mm -hmm. and i was learning this as we're talking mm -hmm. with shannon i'm learning this from ed temple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a, that's another story there. Mm. But at this point, mm. when I discovered uh, a doctor, here I am at Tennessee A and I, and I'm a colleague of what the the the, the world felt, arguably was one of the best mm -hmm. women's track coaches mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he was my colleague. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was just an ideal situation mm -hmm. for me to learn because the way I viewed it was that Coach Temple had an eye for the kind of talent mm -hmm. that would make the best runners. Mm -hmm. So I envisioned that while there must be a certain kind of talent that makes a football player, mm -hmm. and then he he wanted outstanding talent mm -hmm. because his idea, and I thought it was different from anyone I ever met, mm -hmm. his idea was to get talented people mm -hmm. and train them to be, to be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then make the next step, make the great, the greatest of the great. Mm -hmm. Because I, I visioned that an Olympic gold medal winner mm -hmm. is the greatest mm -hmm. of the great. Mm -hmm. That was what Ed Temple dealt with. He dealt not with the good, mm -hmm. not with the great. Mm -hmm. He dealt with the greatest mm -hmm. of the great. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was excellent. And I would watch him like a hawk, mm -hmm. all the things he did. And I learned four things from him that I carried from that time mm -hmm. all the way until today mm -hmm. in dealing with athletes. Number one, as I said, you have to select an athlete mm -hmm. who, who, who has the physical natures that you need. Mm -hmm. You would not want, uh, if you were a, a, a track coach, you would not want a short-legged person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you're running. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so there were certain things in football that certain body types lean, lean to, mm -hmm. and I believe it even right to today. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, I learned from Coach Temple that you had to have a program that pressed 
and forced mm -hmm. the, the participant toward his limits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have not met an athlete in all the years who knew his limits. Mm -hmm. So I think it behooves the coach to, to push toward the limits, mm -hmm. wherever they are. Mm -hmm. I learned that from coach. You had to have a program that was stringent, mm -hmm. that worked them, because you could not become the greatest of the great mm -hmm. without an extraordinary work ethic. Mm -hmm. I got that from it. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, that you had to uh, become a part of their life. And as I look back in athletics, mm -hmm. and I think, Doctor, this might extend to other things in life. Mm -hmm. All the great ones, there's a person back in their yeah. life mm -hmm. that was instrumental, mm -hmm. more than anyone else, mm -hmm. in helping them to attain their greatness. Mm -hmm. and, and that person with these young ladies was Ed Temple. Mm -hmm. And Muhammad Ali mm -hmm. had a person back, back his mm -hmm. trainer, who, who pushed him to be his greatest. Mm -hmm. I don't know of an athlete who does not have in his background mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. that was instrumental more than anyone else mm -hmm. in him attaining his greatness. Mm -hmm. And that was the spot that Ed Temple occupied in the lives mm -hmm. of his girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he was the one that they looked to. Mm -hmm. So he, he it became it became imperative that he become a part of their life. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, Ed Temple didn't like for football players to mm -hmm. to to, to no, date his girls. I understood that. <laughs> See, it, 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 and uh, the final thing, w the final thing was that you you, in order to, in order to lead young people beyond what they think their limits are. Uh, you must uh, be, cons and it, we're talking about school now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you must be concerned with their academics. See, as a teacher, Ed mm -hmm. Temple's girls just were not allowed to miss classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, they had to do their work or they had to answer to Ed mm -hmm. Temple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was way before we had tutoring programs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and those kinds of study halls mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. Ed Temple mm -hmm. led Mm -hmm. he, he led that thing of academic excellence. Let me interrupt you here uh, for the last time here, uh, Coach. And, 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 and of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Talking to legendary Coach.